Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a few really big stories from proof of more third gen Ryzen CPUs, upcoming Navi GPUs that can compete with Nvidia's greatest, and Intel has begun shipping 10 nanometer chips. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, so what are you waiting for? Start saving now by visiting the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time and first up for today it looks like AMD isn't done with their Ryzen 3000 series just yet. What's great is that these new CPUs won't do anything other than make Ryzen even more competitive. So what am I talking about? Well, AMD recently filed a few new processors with the EEC and as usual they have it listed on their site. As you can see here the list includes the Ryzen 5 3500, Ryzen 7 3700 and the Ryzen 9 3900. But that said, these could be placeholders, but I doubt it. The odd thing is that on everything but the 3500, they do mention Pro, so these could just be the non-overclockable Pro models. With that said, every Pro model so far has a mainstream counterpart. So assuming these are coming, for those who don't know about the non-X models, they're basically just lower clock CPUs, which means you potentially lose around 200 megahertz. But they do include an unlock multiplier, so manually overclocking is possible. And so far we've seen pretty similar results between the current 3600 and 3600X. Sure, the X variants do tend to be bend a little more, but the difference doesn't seem to be worth it. Meaning, if this is true, you'll be able to get a Ryzen 9 3900 a 12 core 24 thread monster for less than $500. Obviously, I don't know exactly how much it's going to be, but I'd almost bet we're looking at around $450, which basically feels like a price cut right after launch. Talk about a win. Speaking of winning, Nvidia may not want to get too comfortable in the high-end GPU market, as we have a tweet from Kamachi that says when translated by Google, simply, oh this is Navi 12 and it looks like a big GPU. Now I know many people might say that's basically nothing, and if it wasn't such a prominent leaker saying this, I'd agree, but Kamachi is pretty well known for hardware leaks, plus it goes hand in hand with a couple recent leaks, from the EEC filing to a recent report that I covered saying the Radeon 7 had reached end of life status. Just like I suggested then, if it's true it means AMD is going to be releasing a new GPU because they wouldn't do that unless they had something to replace it. Now, to discuss actual performance, I'll also quickly point out a comment on Kamachi's post, and I rarely do this. Fans send me things they can't really prove all the time, so I never run the story. But basically, because it's right here on the post, I figured why not. And I don't know who they are, there's no proof, but I simply think it's interesting and almost self-evident as to what we'd expect from a faster GPU from AMD. My point is, take this with a tiny grain of salt. Anyway, a commenter stated that the GPU Kamachi is referring to comes with 64 CUs and would pose a threat to the 2080 Ti. Now, whether that last part is true or not is hard to say. We don't have key figures, though if we look at it, the 2080 Ti is around 45 to 65% more powerful than the 5700 XT, and if this new GPU has 50% more cores along with a somewhat higher clock, AMD could very well compete with Nvidia's highest tier GPU. Basically, the RX 5800 or 5900 could be coming very soon. Fingers crossed. Lastly for today, according to Intel's recent earnings call, the company has begun shipping out their 10 nanometer isolate chips to OEMs. Unfortunately, I will say that they're just mobile processors, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of performance they get so we can predict the increase for desktop. That is, if they ever release 10 nanometer desktop chips, so far we still haven't really heard anything about it, with the most recent rumors suggesting the company is going to be releasing their upcoming enthusiast line next. And it's still on the 14 nanometer plus 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 plus, plus buy the 14 nanometer plus 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 infinity mug at store.gamerl.com. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for more 7 nanometer CPUs or are you just ready for Intel's infamous 10 nanometers? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.